Hey Cloud Gurus and welcome to this episode of Azure This Week. In this episode, we're going to take a look at three recent Azure announcements. The public preview of Azure AD authentication for Azure storage accounts. The GA release of data in replication for Azure Database for MySQL. And how you can build a serverless solution with Azure scheduled events for Windows and Linux VMs and Azure Event Room. First up, let's take a look at the public preview of Azure AD-based authentication for Azure storage accounts. This functionality has been enabled in all Azure regions and is currently available for blob and queue storage. It extends the existing authentication mechanisms of shared keys and shared access signature tokens by enabling you to make use of Azure role-based access control, RBAC. Because Azure RBAC is backed by Azure AD, this means that you can assign explicit rights to users, applications, or Azure resources to access data in an Azure storage account, down to the level of an individual blob container or queue. Using this with managed service identities means that you can have resources like VMs or functions access data in a storage account without needing to do any credential handling within code. Next, let's take a look at the announcement that data in replication for Azure Database for MySQL is now generally available. This is a feature of Azure Database for MySQL, which enables you to replicate data from a source MySQL server, regardless of where that source server is running, on-premises, in an Azure VM, or in a different provider entirely. This enables you to use Azure as a disaster recovery location for MySQL databases, or hybrid data or multi-region scenarios, where you need to bring data closer to running applications or remote users. The technology is based on MySQL binary log replication, which you can read more about here. The service running in Azure acts as the replica target for the source server, which must be running at least MySQL 5.6. Additionally, the source and target must be running the same version of MySQL, and the master database is not replicated. So users and permissions which exist on the primary database won't automatically be replicated across to the target. If you have accounts which explicitly need to access data on the replica, they will need to be built manually. Finally, let's look at how you can build out a serverless platform with Azure Scheduled Events and Azure Event Rid. The GA announcement for Scheduled Events happened back in March this year. This technology takes actions which Microsoft takes against a VM running Windows or Linux, such as Restart or Pause, and exposes it via a REST endpoint within the VM itself. This allows any applications running on the VM to be aware of maintenance events and to take any necessary actions to prepare. The scheduled events are only exposed within each VM using a static non-routable IP address, so the information is not exposed outside the VM. In order to use this information to trigger an external event, Zif Rafalovich, who is a principal program manager on the Azure Compute team, has published a VM extension written in Python, which runs on either Windows or Linux, and which takes those scheduled maintenance events and publishes them to an Azure Event Grid topic endpoint. Check out this short video of Corey Sanders, the Microsoft Corporate VP of Azure Compute, talking to Zif about this solution and running through an end-to-end -end demonstration. That's it for this episode of Azure This Week, where we looked at the public preview of Azure AD authentication for Azure storage accounts, the GA release of data in replication for Azure Database for MySQL, and creating a serverless solution for Azure scheduled events for Windows and Linux VMs. If you're not already watching Tuesdays with Corey, check it out here on Microsoft Channel 9. Until next week, keeping awesome cloud gurus. Thank you.